Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm working on a 1995 uh, Ranger Rover. I don't know, this may be the Discovery. I'm going to replace this throttle assembly. Uh, because this one is damaged. It has the cable linkage broken there. First thing I'm going to do is pull the cable, this pin out of here, unhook the cable, unthread the cable from here. Real simple process. I got the damaged pin out of it could not get the pin to slide out of it so I had to pry it back open and then removing it of course the pin disappears so I hopefully I have the pin with the other one so next I pulled this tube off of it it was plugged in right here next I'm going to pull this tube off of here and it looks like I have another cable down here I'm going to lift it up before I try to remove that one. So I got a bolt here, a bolt here, and another bolt down there somewhere. I gotta find and pull off. I don't want to pull this plenium off because I don't want to be resealing that. So let me see if I could get it off with these three bolts and go from there. Took this linkage loose so I can get it out of the way to get these two bolts. These bolts are actually nine millimeters. Once you get the three bolts out, you need to unhook this spring down here because it will hold this on. Then you got to pivot the whole assembly counterclockwise, lift this back in up, tilt that down to get it from under this linkage here. Then it slides right out. So after you get it slid out, make sure you make a notation of the orientation of the spring that was on there because you'll need to get that spring back on there right once you want to put all this stuff back together and uh, go from there. Disconnect this cable, swap the part out, and put it back in place. You see how this one is broken there. That throttle linkage is broke somehow. This cable here has a different kind of clip. You spin it to unclip it. Oops. <clears throat> Spin it like that. Get it off the clip. Actually, it's pulled the whole clip out. Now, unscrew that. Take that linkage off of there, and you'll be good to go. I got that cable unscrewed, 13 millimeter. Now I'm ready to swap the other part on. One thing I did notice that kind of made it easier for me I sprayed the threads off with brake parts cleaner because the gunk on the threads was keeping the bolt on making it harder to take off you may want to break that loose before you take this thing here loose I have the linkage hooked back up here I need to adjust this a little bit I got this hooked back up I got the springs hooked up the way they're supposed to be down there the all right, so now the throttle should work fine. Opens and closes all the way. Can adjust the throttle tension on it here. So you want to adjust it till it just starts opening and then let it down until it quit moving right there. Now I'm going to put the sensor back on the front fire it up see how it runs if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that i post you can follow me on twitter and if you need to contact me directly please visit my website and if you have any questions leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them again thank you very much for watching